Hey everybody, it's Stephanie and today I'm here with this great summer DIY for you guys. We've all seen those crazy tie-dye denim and um, white denim shorts online and in stores. And I actually found a pair that I really, really liked, but they were $120 and I can't afford that. So um, I decided to try and make my own pair and share with you guys the process. So if you want to see how I make these cool tie-dye studded shorts, stay tuned. Okay, so the things you're going to need are obviously a pair of denim shorts. You don't have to have cutoffs. I just went to Goodwill, bought a pair of light wash um, denim jeans and cut them off. And so that's what I have here. We're going to need a uh, fabric dye. I got these at Walmart for $1.66 a piece. I got the RIT ones, which I know will work, but I also got these Tulip um, brand ones because they had them in a variety of colors, like brighter colors on the RIT. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. So be careful with that. Uh, rubber bands in, it doesn't really matter what color you're not gonna, um, gloves, these are the only ones I could find. Salt, um, a bucket, and extremely hot water. So we have that boiling on the stove right now, but just have like get, like, get that ready. So um, steps are coming up next. Okay, so the first step in making these shorts is um, kind of destroying them a little bit more. So we're gonna take our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut horizontal slits in um, the jeans. You can make these wherever you want. You can destroy them as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And you don't need to pull or tug or try and make them bigger because it'll fray themselves in the dryer. So I went ahead and did some right here, did some on this front pocket, did some on the back pocket and on the bottom right here. Um, and I think I'll do a little bit more and then next we'll start with the dyeing. So the next step is tying up your denim with the rubber bands. So you just take all, you can just take rubber bands and then you just start by tying up the bottom of them. Like this. And this is a little bit, this is going to give it a really cool effect. Okay, so this is what the bottom of your um, shorts should look like once it's all tied up. This is going to give it a really good effect, like I said earlier. And so now we're just going to mix the dye in um, a bucket, like the directions say. And so I'm going to do the purple on the bottom first. So you mix the whole pack of dye in here. At least that's what the red package does. Mix the dye in here. Put a cup of salt in here. I'm not really sure what the salt's for, but all I know is it's supposed to like make it saturate or hold it longer in extremely hot, ah, hot water. <laughs> this is um, really hot. <laughs> and just mix it up, be really careful. That's why we're wearing old clothes because this will stain. So there's that. Put on your handy dandy gloves and prepare to submerge your shorts. Water. The hotter the water, um, the deeper the color is going to be. So that's why it says use extremely hot water, but be careful because as you can see the water is hot. So now all we're going to do is dip them in there. You, if you want to do like it all one color, that's fine. If not, I'm only doing half of this. And just hold it. Okay, so we're taking this out now. I left it in for about two to three minutes and just wring out the excess um, dye out. You can leave it in for longer if you'd like, just depending on how dark or how rich you want the color to be. And now it's time to take out the bands and you'll see the great effect that you get. This. And you start to get like that cool kind of sunbursty effect. Where the bands were. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these all out and then we're gonna do the next color. Okay, so I tied up the top part and now we're going to go ahead and dip it in the turquoise 
dye. It's really nice and rich. It's, and just be careful because it's really hot. We're just going to dip it. If you want, you can tie up this part with a plastic bag, but... Okay. You're going to look so cool. And again, just um, eyeball this. Usually about two to three minutes if you want it to be a really, really nice, rich color. Less time if you want it to be a more pastel color. Um, and for the top, I decided to use thicker rubber band just because the top portions of jeans are usually a bit thicker. And I wanted to make sure that the rubber bands stayed on. Okay, so now we're just taking out the rubber bands from the top part. And you can see the, the cool effects that we got again. Um, so just some stuff to think about afterwards. When you're getting rid of the dye, you want to like throw it somewhere where it's not going to stain. So you don't want to do it down your bathtub or down your sink. So Melissa just went ahead and dumped it in the alley since we are outside. Um, and then also remember when you're wringing these things out in the dye to get the rest of the dye out, it's really hot. So be careful. All right, so here's what they look like. They're not complete yet. We're gonna go ahead and put them in an old pillow case and throw them in the dryer. Okay guys, here are the finished dyed, tie-dyed-esque shorts. Um, these were such a fun project to make. I would definitely recommend doing um, this with a friend or with somebody who also has denim shorts that they're gonna to wanna to dye because we wasted a lot of dye by just dumping it out and I really wish that I had it because I'm so, so frugal and so cheap about that kind of stuff. But it was only $1.66 and just, oh my gosh, look how good these turned out. I am in awe. I, I was really reluctant. I wasn't sure um, how they would look, but I really like them. I'm definitely gonna do another pair soon. And I may stud these, I may not, I'm not really sure yet. But if I do, I'll keep you posted and I'll keep you updated. I hope you guys really enjoy this, try it out, um, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.